today's top stories. Iran announced on Wednesday that it welcomes constructive talks with the world powers on its nuclear program, but vowed to press ahead with its nuclear activities. An official statement said, quote, The Islamic Republic of Iran welcomes constructive and just talks based on mutual respect in a cooperative atmosphere and believes that current problems in the international arena must be resolved through dialogue. The statement was in response to an invitation by six world powers, the U.S., Britain, France, Germany, China and Russia, to hold direct talks to resolve the long-standing nuclear row. It also said that Iran would soon present an updated package of proposals to end the dispute without giving details. Iran's President Ahmadinejad on Wednesday accused Israel of brutal acts and ethnic cleansing, two days after he sparked international outrage by calling Israel a totally racist government. Speaking at a conference in Tehran of prosecutors from member states of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, Ahmadinejad also called on Israeli criminals to be brought to justice in relation to Israel's 22-day offensive in the Gaza Strip. He said, quote, The crimes committed in Gaza and occupied Palestine have been the most hurtful international crimes of recent decades. During his speech, Ahmadinejad also criticized the UN Security Council over its failure to take decisive action to end the Israeli offensive in Gaza. Mohsen Rezaei, the secretary of the Expediency Council and advocate of the idea of a coalition government, today issued a statement announcing that he will be standing as an independent candidate in the ninth presidential election. The labor news agency Ilna reports that the statement entitled The Fourth Statement of the Election Headquarters of the Coalition and Effective Government emphasizes the pivotal role of collective and political wisdom, the need for the presence of several presidents in the cabinet, and the reform of the pattern of the country's management in order to fulfill the idea of a coalition which would best serve the nation. The student news agency ISNA also reports that with the candidacy announcement of Mohsen Rezaei, the group of four, that is Rezaei, Mohamed Baghia Halibov, Ali Larajani, and Ali Akbar Velayati have decided to follow up the idea of a coalition government after the election is over. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.